Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 online beta video. And I'm going to start referring to these videos as beta because honestly, Red Dead Online isn't really even out yet. And uh, honestly, there's a lot of people that are very upset with the new update. Now, I have lots of different video content that I want to create uh, with this, specifically with this new update. It's going to take me some time to get through some of it. But anyway, I want to focus specifically on one item in this video, and that is carcass fishing. So now if we go ahead and take a look at behind me, I've been sitting here for a, uh, a while, and I've gone to different locations, and I've definitely have tried the different opportunities that we had for carcass fishing around the map. And uh, in some of my previous videos, I labeled this as a glitch, right? A lot of people got really upset with me saying, this isn't a glitch, it's not an exploit, it's not a glitch. Well, you know what? I'm here to say that you guys, obviously, you're all wrong. It was a glitch to Rockstar because they got rid of it. Like, seriously, they seriously just got rid of it completely. I've tried, like, 10 different locations, all the ones I've done different videos on, different locations that I knew about. I've done all those. Carcass fishing, gone. Nixed it. It was a glitch. It was an exploit. It's done. So, anyway, now, uh, after I got my little tantrum out a little bit, <laughs> I want to tell you guys of a way to actually get fish without actually fishing. There's actually a couple different ways that we can do that. Now, I'm going to have different videos for them, but in this specific video, I'm going to go to a certain location and we are going to get fish without carcass fishing and without actually fishing at all. So I'm going to head on over there and I'll be right back with you guys in just a moment. Now I'm getting pretty close to the location that we need to be at. And you can see on the back of the horse, I have a carcass. And we're not necessarily going to be going carcass fishing. Obviously, it doesn't work in in the new update. But we're going to be using the carcass to kind of stop and create a dam in the game so that we can actually harvest fish that beach themselves. Now, there's a couple different areas on the map, and I'm going to get to them individually. But we're going to go into one very specific spot uh, in Reddit Online Beta, that uh, we can get fish for a couple dollars a piece. Now, there's ob obviously has been some changes to the economy as well, uh, with perfect carcasses being lowered and things like that. So hunting might not be the best way of making money anymore, but that's going to be tested over the next week or so by myself and uh, I'm sure by a lot of other people, but we're just going to see what's going to happen. But anyway, we're down here at... Ringneck Creek. If you guys actually don't know where that's at, we're just a little bit north of Rhodes. So this is Rhodes right here. We got Ringneck Creek. Now, this method was working flawlessly before. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab our deer. And there's these rocks that are actually right here. What we're going to do is we're actually just going to go ahead and throw our deer right in here. What that's going to do is that's going to stop pretty much any fish from flowing down this river. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull out our fishing pole, our magic wand per se. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my bait here. I'm going to switch it to basically anything that I possibly can. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to chill here and wait for a little bit. And we're going to start to get some fish that are hopefully going to be spawning in here in just a moment. So we're going to go ahead and cast out our fishing pole. And now we're just going to wait for a little bit. All right, so I've been sitting here for just a little bit, and you can start to see that we've actually already got one fish right here. So we can go ahead and actually pick up that smallmouth bass real quick. And that's why we're using the deer. It actually flowed right by me, and uh, we were able to get that de That deer was able to stop it for us. So we're not going to be able to go too terribly far away, but what we're going to be looking for is other fish along this creek bed, and maybe... We didn't do it for very long, but I'm not seeing any other ones right now. But we got one to spawn pretty quickly, but I'm just going to kind of keep my eyes open. The fish do kind of blend in to this area, so you just got to, you really have to kind of stay focused. We got one actually right there. Actually, a couple right here. There's a whole bunch of them right here. Perfect. 
So we're going to go ahead and pick up all of these guys right here. We're going to grab them. We're going to make $2 a pop. I really wish that we could uh, carry more than 10 fish in our satchel and we could actually make a lot more money. Now, I literally have just been online. I was a completely negative dishonorable. And this, these are like the first fish that I'm getting. So barely improving or starting to improve my honor just from doing this little bit of a method. Now, I don't want to go too much further because that will obviously make my my carcass despawn. I haven't really tested to see how far we can actually go with that. Um, not seeing any more. So far, we've collected five. I'm, I'm going to kind of walk back down this way, and we're going to see if there's any more that have decided to kill themselves anywhere. And I'm not seeing any more quite yet. But this is a great way that if you guys are really interested in carcass fishing, because really now you can't carcass fish anymore. So the next best thing is fishing itself, which some people really don't want to do in Red Dead Online. And honestly, I don't I don't blame you for not wanting to fish. Um, I've never been, you know, except for the Lake Sturgeon down by Blackwater, which I'll definitely have to test, you know, different methods out to see what is what is working. Uh, but we just really have to kind of just chill here for just a few seconds. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go and check the 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 riverbeds again. The edges. And we're going to see if we can actually get any more fish to spawn. And it's really hard to see if fish are spawning in, um, in this area. Especially with this time of day. I definitely see something up there. But it definitely does not look like a fish. All right, so now that that's been in the water for a little bit, we're going to go ahead and reset the cast. We're going to put the fishing pole away. Our deer is not holding anymore. Let's go ahead and take a walk up this creek right here. Let's go ahead and put our eagle eye on just to make sure that we're not missing anything. Now, we did find most of the fish up here earlier. Oh, I can start to see some of the fishing or fish rings up here. So we should start to hopefully maybe get some that are beaching here in just a moment. But I'm, I'm not hearing, or I'm not seeing any. I'm not hearing any. Um, now, I am definitely hearing some turkeys in the area. We have a fish that's chilling out right here. And we're hoping that he's just going to, you know, kill himself. That's, that's what we're hoping for. And right there, fish is down. Now, is that really the only one that we got to fish that we only got to come in here this time around? No, I'm not seeing exactly where this thing went. But I want to be careful because I don't want to go too terribly far because I don't want my carcass to despawn on me. And I'm not seeing anything carcass fishing since it's gone now, uh, which I kind of had a feeling that Rockstar was going to patch. A lot of people were like, no, Rockstar is not going to patch that. It's not a glitch. It's not an exploit. Well, they obviously thought that it was because a lot of people must have been using it. But there's going to have to be other options that we're going to have to, you know, kind of figure out. Unfortunately, that was the only fish that I found with that. So I'm just going to go ahead and stand here for a, just a little bit longer with my fishing pole. And we're going to see if we can get any more fish to spawn. All right. So I've been standing here for a little over 30 seconds or so. And I saw that there was one fish that did beach himself right up here. And now it's getting to the time of day where it's a little bit easier to spot some of the fish in this area. Oh, we got one that's coming right down there. I'm going to go ahead and pick that guy up. Make sure that you guys are checking your your eagle eye as much as possible because you're going to get uh, the fish to, especially if they're floating downstream, you're going to be able to see them a lot easier. So let's go ahead and check to see if we got another one that's beached right here. And just make sure that you guys are checking. Yeah, see like underneath this rock right here, we got this guy, which I don't know if we're going to be able to get him or not. Yeah, see that's that's unfortunate right there. Because he's stuck underneath that rock right there and we can't reach him. So that does happen from time to time. And we do have another one that's just right up here. So that's going to help out a little bit. We got some more that are just freely starting to come down to us. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up this fish right here. Can we pick him up please? Thank you very much. And now let's go and check our satchel before we grab any more fish. We got nine right now. And what I want to do is I'm just going to test just to see if by chance... We are able to get more than 10 fish, but I'm not seeing any more right now. Oh, there's one right there. 
Look at that. I don't know how he got way the heck over there. But we're going to go ahead and pick up this one. This is going to be our last one that we're going to go ahead and pick up. Because we had 10. And now we have 11. And we're just going to check our satchel. Just to see if by chance we got a little bit larger satchel now. And no, we don't. So, honestly, that, that is a great way to make a little bit of money. It's the next best thing besides carcass fishing or fishing fishing that you guys can do. So, if you guys are wanting something that you guys need some... You know, to walk away from your, from your from your computer or from your game or from your console for whatever reason for a very short amount of time, then you know definitely go ahead and do this here at Ring Neck Creek. But as that is by far the best best method that I have for you at. At least at this present time, I do have some other ones that I want to go over with you guys. But $2 a fish isn't too bad. Um, and honestly, with some of the economy changes, what we're going to do is we're just going to ride on over to roads. And I'm not seeing any red dots on the map. And it's kind of funny that there's already people that are purple and r really, really dark red already showing on the map, which is kind of, kind of funny. So at least you know way in advance if there's a potential griefer in the way now there's a red dot i finally do see one here on my map you know pretty much yeah, it's in the direction of roads i don't know if he's actually in roads or not but we'll find out kind of once we get a little bit closer and honestly this is not that far away from the butcher if you guys want to be able to do you know this this method we're just going to go ahead and just ride over all these hills now it's pretty much a straight shot right to the butcher a couple more people are starting to populate in to the area uh just because we're finally getting a little bit closer to other players but there's actually not that many people in roads oh gosh we almost went a little bit too far from the butcher so here's the butcher we're gonna see if we can sell the the smallmouth bass for the same amount of money and they do they sell for 10 or two dollars a piece at 10 that's 20 bucks so and honestly it took me i don't know I buy this near every day probably five to eight minutes to collect that probably not quite that long and you guys could probably do it faster honestly the best method that i saw at ring creek ever was a group of four players and what they would do is either one person was just gone and they logged in their account and they just stood there and then the other people just kept picking up the fish and there was always a constant flow of fish coming and spawning in that area by having one player or whatever and then basically they would just each take turns they collect 10 fish and then they would bring them back to the butcher and they were constantly they they'd ride back up wouldn't even have to do anything there'd be a whole bunch of fish just laying around everywhere and then they were able to collect more and go back so that's a great method if you guys want to be able to use that if you're playing otherwise you're gonna have to do the method that i just did if you're playing solo but anyway hopefully this helps you guys make some extra money since uh, carcass fishing is completely gone in red dead online no longer a glitch available to Red Dead Online beta players. But if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming.